I'd like to give you a little bit of insight into hypothesis testing and the test level our for equals 5% and the way we draw a conclusion in the test. Here I've set up a binomial distribution uh, with parameters n is 12, p is a half, um, outcomes 0 through 12 in column A, probabilities as calculated by Excel in column B. Um, if I add these probabilities up, uh, let me just oops, let me just select all of them, and down here Excel tells me the sum is one. If I add the extreme situations, if I select, oh gosh, ham fisted this morning. I hold Control down and select these additional ones. Excel adds them up. 0.038, um, so roughly 4%. Let's let's act as if this is um, a 5% probability, so giving us um, our extreme outcomes with probability 5%. If we take a look at a wee experiment, uh, I've coded up a, um, a coin tossing experiment in R. So, um, traditional example with uh, of a binomial experiment with p equals a half here n equals 12 um, is our 12 coin tosses if I toss a coin 12 times um, here I have a sequence tail four heads tail head tail four heads x equals line we might think oh was that the sort of thing that we might expect a little green dot here showing us where it sits in the probability distribution these black bars are plotted at the, the heights um, that we had in that Excel column. So these these numbers here, um, the center three, the mode at 0.225, and the other two just below 0.2 are these heights here. If I repeat that experiment again, um, I get a uh, six um, at the mode. Completely unsurprising. Um, seven again near the mode. Um, high probability and, and unsurprising when we look at that sequence um, we're not alarmed by that in any way I keep going that's an unusual one isn't it um, seven tails followed by five heads um, um, again we might be surprised to see that not not surprised to see the total of five but to see the pattern there um, x equals six again we've got these runs which we might be surprised by but the sum completely unsurprising x equals four x equals eight x equals eight again these these outcomes are not um, surprising to us I suppose the scenario was we'd agreed um, with a friend who's going to pay for dinner depending on how many heads we get your friends tossing the coin um, reporting these outcomes and you're not at all surprised. Um, if we you know, keep going, all of a sudden um, we get an outcome here, the 11 tails in one head sitting down here, very low probability event and when we look at that we, we really um, think wow that's unusual. We, we think it's unusual because we know deep down that it has a low probability. Um, if someone's reporting it, this to us, we'd really question perhaps that they'd conducted the experiment properly. Are you sure you got 11 tails in 12 tosses of a coin here? Um, we might be questioning whether or not indeed the coin is fair. Is it somehow biased towards getting tails? Um, we feel that way because it is one of these these low probability outcomes. 0, 1, 2, 10, 11 and 12 combined have a probability of just under 5%. And when we see an outcome of an experiment like that, it makes us question the underlying assumptions we've made about the experiment. In particular here, what is the probability of getting a head? Um, that is the very basis on which hypothesis testing methodology works. We take a sample value here and observe value x equals 1, but in general the value of a test statistic. We look at its position relative 
to the rejection region where we've allocated a small probability, usually 5%, uh, to the unlikely values of the distribution if H0 is true. If we observe one of these unlikely values, we don't question the data, rather we question the assumptions on which the test statistic has been calculated, in other words H0, and we reject H0.